Thank you very much for the introduction, Anya. And Satsuri uh, Akol, Namaste, Adov, Bahot, Bahot, Janvar. Close? <laughs> Thank you very much to Dr. Kapoor for inviting me uh, to join you here tonight. And I want to begin by recognizing that we are on the traditional land of the Treaty 7 First Nation signatories, as well as the Métis people of Alberta, who I know share a deep connection with this land. Um, and it, to say it's my absolute pleasure to bring greetings from our Premier, Rachel Notley, and all of my NDP government colleagues uh, from the legislature. I'm also uh, very honoured to be joined by my colleague, Minister Irfan Sabir, who I see at the table right there. He's the Minister responsible for Community and Social Services. I uh, absolutely love being a part of evenings like this when people passionate about helping others come together to celebrate. And uh, to enter, um, uh, enter these kinds of initiatives, obviously, is about helping others. And I want you to know that that's why I entered public life. It's been my greatest privilege of my life to serve as your health minister and to fight every day for a public health care system that's accessible to every Albertan. Regardless of where you come from, what language you speak, whether you come in wearing a fur coat or no coat at all, it's my pleasure to share in the community spirit that's in this room and the passion of giving to patients and making sure you meet them where they're at. Um, it's an honor to be with a group tonight that is dedicated to raising not only awareness about heart disease, but also raising important funds. So thank you for your generous donations to support heart research um, at the University of Calgary. Your dedication and unwavering advocacy for prevention and treatment of heart disease have made a significant difference in many, many Albertans' lives, Canadians' lives, and indeed around the world. For many Albertans, heart disease can be prevented, and professionals like many of you here tonight can help community members learn their risk factors and then focus on managing them. Ultimately, this helps improve awareness about heart disease, prevention, treatment, rehabilitation, and research here in Alberta. Alberta is home to three top-ranked institutes for cardiovascular and stroke research and care. Of course, we count advanced cardiology consultants among them, as well as the Libin Cardiovascular Institute at the University of Calgary and the Mazankowski at the University of Alberta in Edmonton. We are also honored to have some of the best researchers in the world right here in Alberta. Again, I'll start with Dr. Kapoor, but also I want to mention Dr. Hirani, Dr. Verma, Dr. Chandra, and Dr. King Shear, who is the inaugural Guru Nanik Dev G. Dil Heart Research Chair at the University of Calgary. I also have a family connection to this work. I uh, have a cousin, Dr. Neil Philipchuk, who works at the Libin Institute at the University of Calgary. And I'll tell you from our conversations, he was motivated to enter this field because of experiences in our own family and in the community. And I know many of you in this room felt driven by uh, similar situations in your own lives and your own communities. And having these institutions and this professional talent means we offer the right care in the right place at the right time here in Alberta. Our government believes very strongly that world-class research in our public post-secondary system and world-class treatment of our public health care system must go hand in hand. And in fact, we are able to celebrate these things following the worst recession since the 1930s. The fact that we are celebrating them is not an accident. It's the result of choices. Choices that we made when the recession really started to hit us in 2015. We could have chosen to slash budgets for our universities, or our school system, or our hospitals, but we made a different choice. And that was to invest in public health care, to invest in education, our families, and our post-secondary institutions. And those investments have helped to drive our recovery and drive economic growth in Alberta so that we lead at the country. I'm proud that even through some tough times, we've been able to support programs that promote public health, awareness, and healthy lifestyles. So for example, the Alberta Healthy Living Program, which provides patient education on health and lifestyle topics, self-management workshops, and services for diverse populations. The great work at the Mosaic PCN and Refugee Clinic here in Calgary. And my favorite one, a school nutrition program that ensures that 33,000 children, young students, get a healthy meal each and every day. 
Together, we can build a healthier society and a strong public health care system. And I want to say thank you to the Dill Foundation for their work towards this goal. Thank you for providing access to resources like local physicians and health professionals to the community. Thank you as well for hosting awareness raising events like the one tonight so that more Albertans can learn how to prevent and manage heart disease. And finally, thank you to those of you who are planning to contribute tonight to the fundraising efforts. Your contributions will help support research on one of the most devastating diseases affecting Albertans. And it will certainly make a difference and it is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for having me here tonight. Thank you. So if I can give you a hug. Thank you.